Let's think about what it means to multiply 2 over 3, or 2 thirds, times 4 fifths. Times 4 fifths. In a previous video, we've already seen how we can actually compute this. This is going to be equal to, in the numerator, we just multiply the numerators. So it's going to be 2 times 4. 2 times 4. And in the denominator, or we just multiply the denominator. So it's going to be 3 times 5. 3 times 5. And so the numerator is going to be 8. And the denominator is going to be 15. And this is about as simple as we can make it. 8 and 15 don't have any factors common to each other other than 1. So this is what it is. It's 8 15 But how, why does that actually make sense? And to think about it, we'll, we'll, we'll think of two ways of, of, of visualizing it. So let's draw 2 thirds. So let's draw 2 thirds. I'll draw it relatively big. So I'm going to draw 2 thirds. And I'm going to take 4 fifths of it. So 2 thirds. I'm going to make it pretty big. 2 thirds. 2 thirds, just like this. So this is 1 third. And then this would be 2 thirds. Which I can do a little bit better job making those equal, or at least closer to being looking equal. So there you go. I have thirds. Let me do it one more time. So here I have drawn thirds. Two thirds represents two of them. It represents two of them. And you, one way to think about this is this is 2 thirds times 4 fifths is 4 fifths of this 2 thirds. So how do we, how do we divide the, this 2 thirds into fifths? Well, what if we divided each of these sections into 5? So let's do that. So let's divide each into 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, and I could even divide this into 5 if I want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want to take 4 fifths of this section here. So how many fifths do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we've got to be careful. These really aren't fifths. These are actually fifteenths, because the whole is this thing over here. So I should really say, how many fifteenths do we have? And that's that's where we get this number from. But you see, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Where did that come from? I had three, I had thirds, and then I took each of those thirds and I split them into fifths. So then I had five times as many sections. Three times five is 15. But now we want four fifths of this right over here. So we have, this is 10 fifteenths right over here. Notice that's the same thing as two thirds. Now, if we want to take four fifths of that, Four fifths of, if you have 10 of something, that's going to be eight of them. So we're going to take eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We took eight of the 15. So that is eight fifteenths. You could have thought it the exact, about it the other way around. You could have started with fifths. So let's, let me draw it that way. So. Let me draw a hole. So this is a hole. And let me, draw, cut, let me cut it into five equal pieces, or as close as I can draw five equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Four fifths, we're going we're gonna to shade in four of them. It's four of the five equal pieces. Three, four. And now we want to take 2 thirds of that. Well, how can we do that? Well, let's split each of these five into three pieces. So now we have essentially fifteenths again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we want to take two thirds of this yellow area. We're not taking two thirds of the whole section, we're taking two thirds of the four fifths. So how many fifteenths do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if you have 12 of something and you want to take 2 thirds of that, you're going to be taking 8 of it. So you're going to be taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or 8 of the fifteenths now. So either way, you get to the same result. You're, you're, so one way, you're thinking of taking 
four fifths of two thirds. Another way you could think of it is you're taking two thirds of four fifths.